words. We are here today to study our last grammar topic from our unit 4. The grammar topic is adding emphasis with a version. So, how can I give an emphasis to a sentence with inversion? Okay? So, you are going to change the condition. You are going to use the um, auxiliary verb in front of the subject. So, please grab your book and open it on page 46. First, I want to give you an example. And you are going to see how does it work. Okay? So, I'm going to write here the same sentence, but in two different ways. The first one with inversion, and the other one with no inversion. Okay? Let's check. Just a minute, guys. Okay, here, never have I been so disappointed. And the same sentence, I have never been so disappointed. Which one can you see more emphasis? Never have I been so disappointed. I have never been so disappointed. For sure, the sentence with the inversion, we can see more emphasis. So, this one is has less strong. It is less strong. É menos forte. Yes? It's not so strong when you listen this sentence. Okay? So, that's what we are going to study. How to give emphasis, how to write the sentence with emphasis, with inversion. Okay? So, let's start reading our grammar box. Uh, we can invert the subject and the verb of a sentence after sent uh, certain adverbial phrases like never, rarely, and seldom. This is used to produce a dramatic effect in strong opinions and give rules. So, how are you going to write your sentence? This is important, okay? We are going to use the adverb first, never, rarely, seldom. Then you are going to use the auxiliary verb or modal verb. Then you are going to use the subject. Look here. Never, auxiliary, subject. Then I have my verb. Okay, so we are going to write our sentence using this structure. So, I'm going to give you an example. Never must you cheat on exam. I give you rules. Never must you cheat on exam. Never. Must you cheat on exam? Okay? Okay. It's nice to remember that when I use this structure, never, rarely, and seldom, I am giving emphasis in the negative with negative expressions. You know that never... Rarely and seldom, they are negative expressions, so they are going to um, give us a negative meaning. All right? Great. Next one. 
after hardly, scarcely, barely, and no sooner to. Emphasis that two actions happen in quick succession. So, we are going to talk about past perfect. So, I have an action that happened in the past and another action that happened before that one. This is past perfect, passado do passado. Então, eu tenho duas ações no passado. Uma aconteceu antes que a outra, ok? So, I use in this case, you should use action number one, past perfect, and action number two, past simple. This is important to write. Action number one, past perfect. Action number two, past simple. Okay? Check here. Hardly had I left the house when it started raining. Let me write how should you create your sentence. So, you are going to use hardly, scarcely, and barely. Plus had, plus the subject, plus the verb in the third column, plus when, plus your past simple sentence. Okay? This is important to remember. Hardly, scarcely, barely, had, subject, verb, then I use when and past simple. And with no sooner, the structure is similar. Had, subject, verb in the third column. But I'm not going to use when. I'm going to use then and past simple. For example, I'm going to write... An example in here, I'm going to give you an example. No sooner had Zuckerberg graduated than he became millionaire. No sooner had Zuckerberg graduated than he became a millionaire. Barely had Zuckerberg graduated when he became a millionaire. So, you can write with different adverbs, different expressions. Okay? Let me put in here. I think you should copy this. Okay? We're talking about this grammar. All right. Next one. After phrases with preposition and no. In this case, we are going to use preposition, no, plus now, plus auxiliary verb or modal plus subject plus verb okay this is the structure i'm going to give you an example how should you write this sentence at, preposition, at, no time in history, thus the world change so dramatically. I'm talking about the quarantine. At, no time in history, thus the world 
change so dramatically. All right? Here, under preposition, no circumstance must you enter that room. At preposition, no time was he telling the truth. Great. Next option is using not only, but also. Here, it's important to remember that I'm going to invert only the first part of my sentence. Look that I have two. Not only did she write the book, second number, two, uh, sentence number two, but she also took the photos. The inversion happened only here in this first sentence, okay? You don't need to invert the second part, all right? Great. Guys, I think it's really important you copy, you take some notes, okay? Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. You can send me a WhatsApp, an email. If you need now, you can pause the video. But I need to continue the lesson and we are going to do some exercises. Okay? Good. Exercise one, we need to rewrite our sentences using the words given. You will probably never see the animals in the wild. Rarely, I need to invert. What is my auxiliary verb? Will. My subject, you. And my verb... C. Okay? As soon as I enter the room, I notice the painting. So, I have two actions. First, I enter. Action number one. Then, I see the painting. Okay? So, first you enter. Past perfect. Then you see the painting. So, you are going to use no sooner had I, remember, past perfect, had I entered the room, then I noticed the, pen, the painting. Past perfect, past simple. I had no idea that English was his first language. So, I'm going to use little and my verb had no idea. I'm going to use no. Okay? I'm going to change had no idea to the verb no. My sentence is in the past. So, what is the auxiliary when we talk about past? Did. Who is my subject? I. And the verb? No. Little did I know. English wasn't his first language. Okay. If. I had known he was going to be there, I wouldn't have gone. So, I have two actions. Yes, if I know, se eu soubesse, eu não iria. So, action number one, past perfect. Here, look, past perfect. Action number two, past simple. So, how can I invert had... 
Who is my subject? I and the verb known. Had I, I known he was going to be there, I wouldn't have gone. You stole for me and you lied to me. Is the idea of not only, but also. Okay? So, I need to invert the beginning. Not only. The auxiliary. My sentence is in the past. The auxiliary of past. Did. Subject you. The verb is told. When I use the auxiliary. Did. My verb is going to be in the infinity form. Okay? Because you show here that the sentence is in the past. Not only did you steal me, but you lied to me. Exercise 2. Rewrite the sentences by using one of the word phrase in the box. So, you are going to rewrite. We are going to rewrite the sentences. But I need to choose one expression that I have here in our book. In our box. Please do not leave bags in front of the emergency doors. Which expressions should I use? At no time, hardly, seldom, rarely, not only, but also. I think the best one is under no circumstance. Okay? Under no circumstance. Okay. Now, I'm going to use my auxiliary verb or modal verb. They give us an order. Yes, so I'm going I'm going to use must. Under no circumstance must you leave bags in front of the doors. Did you check the expression? Auxiliary verb, modal verb, subject, and verb. I had just put the phone down and it started ringing again. We're going, we have two actions. Action number one, you put the phone down. Action number two, it started ringing again. When I have two actions, I use no sooner... Hardly, barely. In this case, we can use no sooner. No sooner, auxiliary in front. No sooner had I put the phone down. Then, remember that no sooner, I don't use when, I use then. It started ringing again. I really didn't know she was such a liar. I didn't know a lot about her. I know little. So, little auxiliary. Did, subject, I, verb, no. Little did I know she was such a liar. He is a doctor and an Olympic medal winner, too. Ele não é apenas médico, mas um ganhador de medalha olímpica. So, how can I say? Not only... Invert, is he a doctor, but also, but an, you can use, but an, Olympic winner. 
All right? That's it for today, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. See you next week. Bye-bye.